Stellar sea lions live throughout the North Pacific Ocean. Starting in the 1950s, their numbers in the North Pacific began to decline. Intentional killing of stellar sea lions was banned in 1972. The species is divided into two distinct populations, the eastern population and the western population. The entire species was listed as threatened in 1990. NOAA Fisheries is working hard to help recover this species, and you can help. Since the 1970s, the eastern population has slowly recovered. They were removed from the list of threatened species in 2013. But the number of stellar sea lions in the western Aleutian Islands has decreased by 94% over the last 30 years. Because of these declines, the western population was designated as endangered in 1997. We're not sure why their recovery is taking so long, and our scientists are working hard to figure it out. Every year during the summer breeding season, our scientists set off to Alaska to conduct aerial and vessel surveys. So we're able to estimate how many sea lions there are and what the population is doing. We know that based on the sample of animals that we marked, how they're doing, and we can infer what the whole population is doing in that region. We can understand how well sea lions survive, and we can learn about birth rates. And we can learn whether sea lions are returning to where they were born to breed or pup, or if sea lions are leaving the area. So out in the Aleutian Islands, we have 20 cameras that capture images all year round during daylight hours. And this means that each year we end up collecting up to 300,000 images. This is where you come in. Stellar Watch is a really great project that we were able to develop on Zooniverse.org. And it really means that anybody with an internet connection can just go online and help us classify these images. And it's a huge help to have these volunteers go online and do this because we have so many images that we have to go through. These volunteers are helping us find images that are the most important. And those are the ones that have marked animals that we can actually read. Following an animal throughout its lifetime is the only way for us to estimate important information like survival and birth rates. This information may help us determine why the population isn't recovering. More than 8,000 volunteers from 70 countries have pitched in. So our team of citizen scientists have helped us immensely in the last year of classifying over 340,000 images, but that's about only 50% of the images that we have on the site. So we certainly have more to go through. And we also will be heading back out this summer and collecting 300,000 more images. And we need continued help from our, our team of citizen scientists. With your assistance, we can recover this endangered species.